didn't make any sense. He didn't look like he could fight. He was always getting beaten down. Like, he was getting beaten down every episode, right? But this episode, <laughs> when at the very end, I mean, he was building up to greatness, but at the end... Luke had to humble him for a second, you guys, in this episode. At the end, when the lecturer slash, what's he called? Dead fish, dead sky, dark sky, black sky. Black sky. Black sky. When black sky came out with her sword, and he took his fifth drawer sword. I was like, oh. So that's what you center in your chi. But even like, like when he went in, you know, in a suit to Alexandria and kind of like, yeah, like, like his it. case. Like, it was pretty dope. It was so dope. It was, it was so dope. dope. Um, I'm just going to keep going from here because I'm going to keep her in the review. So it, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I actually really enjoyed this episode. I thought that, you know, the combination with um, Iron Fist and Luke Cage, that conversation was really good, really dynamic. Um, Luke Cage talking to the, the young boy's mother, like I thought that that was actually connected with me because I felt like emotions from that. I was like, oh man, dang, that's rough. And what happened with him? Um, at the same exact time, the boy actually was really smart in what he told Luke to do. Um, but I kind of felt like that was kind of building up to that. Not just that, Alexandria, like, she is very dangerous. From the simple fact, the very beginning with her building Electra up from the ground up, from nothing, into what she wanted to sculpt her as, like, and she can fight, and she's got some kind of form of power. I don't really know the dynamics of her power. You can come in. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. And sticks. My man Sticks was like, you're not going to hold me down. Chop off my own arm. <laughs> Sticks chopped off his own arm, y'all. He said, I, you know what? Hand, I don't need my hand. Hello. It was it was crazy. It was it, uh, This whole entire episode was actually legit crazy. Even Jessica and Matt. Like, Matt kind of like being there for the support for Jessica in the very beginning. And them kind of being paranoid of each other. Her tra Him tracking her down and her tracking him down. Then her finding out, okay, this dude's a ninja. He's on some other stuff. And then when they all got together at the building, I was just like geeking out. I was like, this is what this was all built up for. And I think that the thing about this season, more than the rest of them, I understand why they need to slow things down to build up to it. Because if they just kind of put them all together, it just wouldn't make any sense. Like they had to actually build it up to this episode to this point. And this was the real focal point where now they are together. Now, yeah. I don't think that they can work together very well because obviously they got some things that 
you know, it's gonna set them apart. But all in all, I thought this was really dope. Hopefully y'all yes, enjoyed our reaction to this episode. We're gonna eat some more food, eat Good some more donuts. donuts. And it's like 7.48 and um, I'm just chilling with my best friend, so. Uh -huh. I don't think I'm gonna say good though. Love you. Everybody, and my wife. Peace you guys. We're gonna do a review after the next episode. You can't even save yourselves. Mm -hmm.